What is going on everybody in Mac Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a battery test for the Moto G7 Power. Is it better than the G Power? Let's see. Max Squad, here we are, the Moto G7 Power, a device that came out last year in 2019. It still features a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside here. So I already did a battery test with the Moto G Power, which is right over there in the desk. And uh, I also did one with the Redmi Note 9S. And both of those phones have a good amount of screen on time as far as you know how long the battery can be used and before you can actually charge it. So now let's test a device that has a 720p display an older CPU like the Snapdragon 632 and see just how long we can get. So as of right now with the Moto G7 Power, we just took it off the charger. We are looking at 100% battery life here. So let me go ahead and show you guys that I really did take it off the charger not too long ago. So it shows you right here. Last full charge was 12 minutes ago. We got screen usage of five minutes and uh, I believe I had the adaptive battery on. So I'm actually going to leave the adaptive battery on because in a real world usage situation, you're probably going to have that on to conserve battery in the device. So it makes sense to have that on. I got my Verizon SIM card inside this device. As you can see, it does say 4G LTE. Matter of fact, if I cut my Wi-Fi off right now, you can see that we're connected to 4G LTE right now. So definitely going to be editing some photos, just basically doing my typical usage here and seeing how long I can actually get this device to last. So we're going to go ahead and close this part of the video out. As we said, we are at 100% and uh, we're going to go on 20% increments here. So see you guys at 80%. Deuces. Hey, Mask Squad. Just an update between editing the video here for the Moto G7 Power battery test. Somehow the file that I shot or the video file for the 80% part of the battery test, basically when the battery was on 80%, the file got corrupted and I wasn't able to actually use uh, that footage. So the video is actually gonna go to 60%. At 80%, the device was probably at about two to three hours of screen on time. So just keep that in mind. So sorry for the inconvenience, deuces. So, Max Squad, we are back with an updated video for the Moto G7 Power battery test here. And to give you a refresh on this device, it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery here. And uh, we originally took this off the charger yesterday. It was at 100%, of course. Uh, we updated it at 80%, and now we are currently on, there you go, 60%. And it's 10.39 a.m. here. So I'm pretty much going to be using this phone all day. I'm going to crank up the brightness when I get done shooting this video here. Uh, yeah, pretty much what I've been doing uh, last night. Uh, I went to bed at about 1.30, maybe a little bit later than that. And uh, we had 80% on the battery here. And we woke up with about 73, I would say. And we've been using it ever since. I uh, woke up pretty early this morning, probably like around 8.30, maybe even earlier than that probably like 7.45, between 7.45 and 8.30. And I've uh, been using the phone ever since. So, you know, basically just, you know, watching some Twitch videos or Twitch streams and us uh, YouTube videos here. But as you can see here, uh, the last full charge in which we took it off the charger was uh, 20 hours ago. And uh, the screen on time since then has been five hours, 49 minutes. And we're not even at 50% battery here. So still definitely a killer phone when it comes to endurance here. If you need a device that has great battery life, the G7 Power is still a great choice to this day. The combination of the 632 inside, uh, it having that 720p display, being well optimized, is definitely a great device if you want something that's gonna last at least a day, at least a day, if not two days, depending on your usage here. So right now, like I said, I got the brightness on a pretty low amount here, and uh, we're probably gonna get it ready to turn it up. So what we're gonna do here is close this part of the video out. 60% is what the device is left on. Five hours, 50 minutes of screen on time. Get that focus there so you can see that. Five hours and 50 minutes of screen on time. So I'll see you guys at 40%. Deuces. So Max Squad, I'm back with an updated video here as far as the battery test for the Moto D7 Power and we are currently at 40%. And another thing too, 
If you actually got to this point in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little sneak peek. I got a new phone here. Yeah, it's a blue device. I got some explaining to do. But in the meantime, the G7 Power is currently on 40% battery as of right now here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys what kind of screen on time we got and if the device may die before the end of the night. Currently being 243 in the afternoon here. So as I said, Mass Squad, G7 Power here. We are currently on 40% battery life. Go ahead and focus that. 40% battery life here. And uh, I think it may end up lasting to the end of the night. Uh, we might kill it before then, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me go ahead and show you guys the screen on time for this device here. I'm pretty sure it's crazy. I'm not sure exactly why it says this last full charge was four hours ago. That's not correct at all. <laughs> Didn't have this thing plugged in at all. Uh, I did restart the phone, so I don't know if it's counting that, but we are currently at 7 hours, 19 minutes of screen on time, and uh, it says here that we got about, well, 40% battery, of course, and it says here it should last until 6.30 a.m., which is tomorrow. Guarantee you it's not going to last that long. I'm going to definitely kill this phone before then. Um, yeah, pretty great battery life if you ask me here, and this is heavy usage here. I'm telling you, I'm watching videos like crazy. I got it on full brightness. I'm actually trying to kill this phone, and uh, we're still looking at about seven hours of screen on time, which is really, 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 really good. So uh, yeah, so roughly 16 hours left is what they're trying to say here. And as you can see, most of the uses came from YouTube, uh, Play Store somehow, <laughs> using Google Chrome, uh, voice calls, about an hour and 35 minutes. You see, I was on the phone for an hour and 35 minutes and it only used 4% of the battery. If you ask me, that's insane, that's crazy. And then uh, you can see there Twitch, of course. Um, we're gonna probably uh, pretty much do the same thing here. I got a new device as you guys can see over there in the corner. Let me see if I can focus it and point it over there. I got a new device, it's the Blue G90. It's a budget phone. Uh, I got it at about a hundred bucks. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> this is the G7 power battery test video here. So yeah, pretty much 40% left and uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this part of the video out as of right now and I'll see you guys at 20%. Deuces. So Max Squad, we are back with an updated video here for the battery test of the Moto G7 power. And you can see there we got the blue G90 here on the left side there doing a Geekbench 5 test there. But uh, yeah, so we're currently at 19%. I was supposed to do that at 20, but you know, things happen. So it'd be 1% off. But yeah, 19% right now. It's currently 6.05 p.m. So for sure, I will be able to kill this device before midnight. And uh, by the way, check out these scores on Geekbench 5 for the blue device here. Let me go ahead and cut this brightness down. Got a 141 and an 840, 141 for the single core and 844 for the multi core. Hmm. Not bad, I guess. But uh, it's actually a pretty snappy phone. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised with how well it performs. That's a pretty decent processor as far as MediaTek goes there. But as far as the main point of this video here, yes, we're at 19%. Sorry for the bouncy cam. 19% for the uh, Moto G7 power here. Let me go ahead and go into the battery here to show you guys. We currently have 8 hours and 57 minutes of screen on time. And it says it's the last four charges 7 hours ago. That is not true. Um, I think what happened was uh, I restarted the phone and it actually, it actually, uh, I guess it jotted that down as a charge. Uh, but I definitely did not have this device plugged into a USB type C charger or anything like that. There was no type of charge going on here. So yes, almost nine hours of screen on time with a 19% battery left. And they're claiming that this can last until 12.30 PM with moderate usage. You can see here now we're at about an hour and 52 minutes of phone calls. Uh, four hours on Spotify, uh, six hours on YouTube. So we are using this phone extremely heavier and we're still getting good battery life. So, and I'm talking about full brightness, Bluetooth is on, uh, Wi-Fi is on, all that stuff is on location. So if you were trying to conserve battery life with this device here, you'll probably get even longer screen on time with this device because with those things that I mentioned earlier being off, you will save some energy, of course, right? So yeah, we're at 19%, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut this part of the video down here, and uh, see you guys when we get to about one or two. And uh, yeah, we'll close the video out then. So, deuces. Oh, Max Squad, we are back with an updated video here on the battery test for the Moto G7 Power here, and we can see here that we are on, well, looks like we got an exclamation point 
for the battery percentage. Okay, I'm kidding. So right now we have 5% left on the Moto G7 power here and it's currently 1129 at night. Now I'm gonna be honest here, uh, the device has been pretty much on standby for the past like hour, hour and a half or so. I haven't really been using it. And so I uh, just wanna go ahead and make this video here really quickly just to close the video out and to show you guys that, uh, you know, the phone itself still has amazing battery life here. And if I keep using it, of course, you'll see, get that focus, that uh, the device will have 10 hours of usage here. And you can see here that we use YouTube for seven hours and 43 minutes, Twitch for three hours, 30 minutes, basically. Uh, Play Store here for three hours, Chrome for an hour and a half, voice calls, four hours of use, on Spotify. Um, there's pretty much a ton, a ton of usage here on this device. And we still currently have 5%. Uh, like I said, it's been pretty much on standby for the past hour and a half. So, yeah, it probably would have died a little quicker, but I would have had definitely a little bit more screen on time. And uh, you can see we're at 9 hours and 58 minutes. Shoot. <laughs> if I actually just keep recording here, we might actually uh, end up at 10 hours. So, you know what? Let me get it to 10 hours really quickly. And, uh, yeah, that made the video, you know, a little bit more solidified that it can last a little bit longer than the G Power in the Redmi Note 9S. So give me a second. Because it had that 720p display and the Snapdragon 632 inside, we knew, or I knew for sure, that it was going to still be able to last longer than those two other devices. So for that reason, I can still recommend this phone to anyone out there looking for a budget device that can last a little bit longer than the average phone. Yes, it has a notch and it is a bit bulky, but Battery life is what you're looking for. This is the one for you. So, Masquad, let me know in the comment section below. With the Moto G7 power here, did you think it was going to have longer battery life than those two other phones that I mentioned? The Redmi Note 9S and the Moto G Power? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any coverage when it comes to budget devices like the Moto G7 power. And then you can also get a little extended coverage going into detail about what this battery life can be. And last but not least, share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Arat. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces.